So hi everybody, uh, this is uh, Ben here. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is a channel uh, which I set up quite a number of years ago. Uh, probably for some of my uh, family and friends video. Personally, I'm very interested in the sports and uh, videography. Recently, over the years, I've been blessed to take up some projects. Uh, mainly it's my own projects to shoot some of the running events in Singapore. I have also invested in a few cameras. Not high-end, it's good enough for my type of shoots. Uh, for running, uh, definitely uh, extreme cams are mostly being used uh, by me. I've used the GoPros, I've used the e-action cam, and the latest addition will be uh, the Osmo Pocket. So the Osmo Pocket was released in uh, 2018. I actually uh, pre-ordered this camera even before it was being uh, released in Singapore. I ordered it uh, directly from DJI. During the time, it's still not so perfect. Uh, there's still a lot of restrictions. I can't control most of the functions on this camera and uh, there's no picture profile like the Cine Light D or the resolution like 2.7K which I love uh, it's, like, it's still manageable for my pretty old MacBook Pro uh, 2011 MacBook Pro uh, I actually sold my uh, first Osmo Pocket at the time it doesn't really suit my need because of the restriction it has coming to a year later I browse through most of the YouTube channels about the Osmo Pocket. A lot of firmware has been released for this camera. It has made this camera into quite a powerhouse recently. The image uh, I've seen on YouTube can be quite surprising uh, to some people uh, who might think that the image captured by the camera was actually shot on DSLR or anything higher end because the final image that it gets is actually quite organic and if you are shooting at the Cine Light D profile it's actually quite cinematic uh, these are some of the low light shots uh, which I actually uh, shot uh, during one of the race event uh, recently in Singapore uh, this is shot in a very low light situation the Osmo Pocket uh, has a native ISO of uh, 100 Due to the small sensor size, I have to jack up the ISO for sure uh, in that situation. So this shot was shot in uh, 400 ISO and a bit of post-production was done. Uh, I have to jack up the shadows, do some of the contrast adjustments. But the image, uh, even though at 400 ISO, is pretty clean. As you can see, it's actually pretty clean and pretty sharp as compared to uh, something I shot on an iPhone or uh, even my Canon M6 but Canon? and this shot was actually shot at the 800 ISO I tried to keep it at the 400 but uh, it was getting pretty dark I have to jack it up to 800 if not I will have to do quite a bit of post production as you can see, uh, 800 ISO is still pretty clean. This camera is capable to do up to 3200 ISO, which I don't really recommend. Now, the camera is, to me, uh, a very useful tool. And uh, a few days back, uh, DJI released another firmware for this uh, camera, which fixes uh, three more issues, namely red light noise, uh, which uh, I don't really know what is it, uh, but to my experience, uh, I low light shooting, I will get this uh, red light flashing on my camera. So uh, I'm not sure whether it is that, but uh, after upgrading the latest firmware, it seems to fix that red uh, strobing uh, symptom. I'm not sure whether it's that the uh, actual uh, fix for the camera. So the second one is the gimbal uh, adjustment uh, when you are fixing a wide angle lens like the free well wide angle lens on the Osmo Pocket. So now you can actually fix the lens on the camera, power on as per normal and the gimbal will optimize itself 
uh, like usual. So uh, it's good news for those who are using a wide angle lens. The third issue that the firmware fixes is the mm, the autofocus. There has been uh, quite a few firmware released with regards to the autofocus. So autofocus for this camera is uh, pretty good uh, at the moment but uh, it's still not perfect. I usually get uh, good focus performance uh, when there is a pretty good lighting uh, situation. As you can see from uh, one of the tests that I've done. So as you can see, uh, Mr. Einstein, who actually helped me, uh, uh, with the test, the focus is actually very good uh, during uh, pretty good lighting situations. But the uh, low light is still not so perfect. I mean, come on, the sensor is so small uh, and it's in such a small package. We can't expect much from the camera. But uh, I think DJI has the capability to make this camera uh, go pretty far. Especially now, it's actually uh, quite a pretty good camera. So, uh, well done DJI for releasing another uh, firmware. I hope uh, there will be more firmwares coming up uh, because I'm kind of addicted to <laughs> upgrading the camera with your uh, firmware. So that is about it for today. Uh, hope you benefited something from this uh, vlog. Hope you guys like it. I shall see you somewhere in the near future again. From me, Ben and Mr. Einstein. Bye-bye!